hey, hey. Sunday evening. Again, time to come in and focus our energy for the week. Check in. See what the cosmos are up to. See what the cosmos are up to. And align your energy as we open up to another week. Come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Welcome, 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 welcome. Come on in and join me for a few minutes this evening. Let's align our energy and let's open up to the energy of this week. So hot today, hot and dry outside, wow. Come on in and join me. We have a lot to talk about. It's the last week of summer. Can you believe it? The last week of summer. I know many of us are already into that fall energy, school starting, all that kind of stuff. Hey, Patrick, but it's the last week of summer. Thanks for joining me tonight. How are you feeling about that? What are you noticing? Can you tell it's the last week? Are you glad to leave the summer? Are you kind of like resist, resist, <laughs> resistant to leave and open up to the fall? What is it for you? I know for me, I am ready for the fall. I really am. How about you? Let me know below. What do you like? You ready for the fall? You want to stay in the summer? Which is it for you? I know sometimes I've had resistance in leaving one season, but I am really ready for the fall. Definitely. So let me know what's going on. Hit the share button. Invite your friends to share. I'm going to look to share this out so then I can get really focused. I'm streaming live tonight on Natural Forces Studio as well as Instagram. And actually, if you like me on Facebook, do like me on Instagram as well. I'm doing a few different things over there. I'm doing some weekly inspirations from my yike, my yoga, my hiking. So like me on over there so you'll be able to get that as well. I put the links right in the Facebook Live. So let me know if you're seeing me as well. All right, I'm going to share this out. And then we're going to jump right into what's going on this week last week of summer time to let go this is a week of balance this is exactly what we're going to be talking about tonight how can we balance how can we find that energy to let go of summer to move into the fall because the equinox is next weekend that's what we want to do we want to be able to balance that energy as we come into the fall all right let's see here i'm looking to share this out one more time all right i've gotten some hearts and i've gotten some likes thank you guys so much i appreciate it i really do i love coming on at this time i love here we go share into the group so i'm sharing over into the empowered spirit circle on facebook if you're not in the group come on over and join me so i let people come in come on in and join me we do some fun things in there i share articles and we talk during the middle of the week let you know what's going on with me always appreciate you guys in there Hey, Leanne. Hey there. Hey, a light love. How are you? Really greetings to everybody. I love this time of year as we move through transitions. What about you? Do you have a hard time finding those transitions for yourself? Is it easy for you to move from one season to another or do you do that pretty easily? What is it for you? Hard or easy? Let me know below. Post below. Let me know your comments. So this week, we really are looking at how we can balance our energy as we let go of summer, let go of the stories, let go of that energy. In fact, that's what we're going to work on in a meditation tonight so that you can find the balance, realign mind, body, spirit, your energy with the cosmos as you move into the new season. That's what we want to do. Now, we're starting to feel very motivated, and we're going to feel that this week. The Mars energy is moving out, the Mercury energy is moving out, and we're starting to feel very motivated, especially compared to the summer. So summer had a little bit of a stall with it, with all those eclipses and the retrograde planets, but now we're finally starting to see that energy move out and open up for all of us. So you may feel that energy as you go into this week, a little motivated. We're still in the waning of the moon. The moon is getting fuller and fuller. The light is growing. This is still a good time to set intentions, to open up to the new seasons, and to put your work out there. We're going to have a little bit of energy coming up today. I believe, what is the 16th? So the 16th, 18th, the next couple of days, some of that Uranus energy, the planet of innovation and rebellion, it's going to kind of come in and really kind of act in with that energy of Mars. So we're going to have a little bit of an intense dance going on the next couple of days with that. But we really want to be able to move forward. So find that motivation, 
find that expansion like think a little bit out of the box that's what that energy is going to help us to do so you may say like hmm this isn't my normal thinking and that's okay expand that energy grow i saw a shirt today that was like endurance is just one more moment of courage right or courage is just one more moment of endurance i can't remember what it was but it's a really cute little little saying there like be strong stick to it expand that energy and feel that motivation as we move through the week all right as we move towards the middle of the week we're going to still be able to do the work and then we're going to start to really want to be centered and balanced as we move into friday and saturday over the weekend lots of fun when we celebrate the the soul the equinox lots of fun when we come into balance with the planets and with the seasons so this week is really about doing that work all right i was at a really fun women's retreat yesterday jennifer dunbar had a great group of women out there and we were talking about that and instead of getting really overwhelmed with oh i gotta let all this go like one thing a day what is one thing you can let go of all right and that's what we want to do what can you check off close the story put it away so you don't have to move into the fall energy with that i was up at the medicine wheel today and wow what a difference in the land it's been so dry down here it's been super dry and i didn't have a lot of weeds to pull but there were certain areas in the medicine wheel certain spots between the, the spring and the summer and the fall I found very interesting and paralleled my life as to when I've had difficulties during this past few months as well. So what did I do? I pulled the weeds. I let them go. I piled them up. I turned them out. Reset my rocks. All right. Course correct. Great. Really, really great um, concept. Course correct. Where can you course correct your life to move into the balance of the seasons and open up to a whole brand new season? All right. We're moving into the light of the moon, the fullness of the moon. Next week, we'll see that as well right after the solstice comes in. So although we've had a kind of a very interesting and intense summer and maybe not everybody felt this, it just really depends on exactly what your blueprint of your chart is like for yourself. But, you know, we were asked to like really go deep. We're asked to do a lot of karmic cleaning and that was all of that eclipse energy and that retrograde energy. Now we're being able to push it aside and that's what we really want to kind of let go of this week so that you can find that balance for you. So let me know, is that hard for you to do? Post below what you think, you know, can you let go of something? Even if it's just one thing that's not working for you so that you make room in the body, make room in your energy system for the new energy coming in, right? We've all heard the saying, energy can never be destroyed, only transformed. But if we're holding on to everything like a closet, if you're holding on to too many things, you can't put anything new in it. So I just invite you as we open up to the meditation tonight, what can you let go of so that you can find the energy within you to open up to this new season? So that's what we're going to work on in the meditation. We're actually going to do a little tapping to help you let go. So just take a moment and join me in this. Taking a nice deep inhale. Ha! <sighs> and exhale. Bringing that breath all the way up. Inhaling, close your eyes for a moment. And then exhale back down. Line your energy. Inhaling. And exhaling, pulling the breath all the way down deep into the earth. Taking another breath, pulling it up from the earth all the way up into the heavens. And as you exhale, pull it all the way back down deep into the earth. And just bringing that awareness right into the very center, right into the heart. As we call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, call in your spirit guides. Ask for that guidance for this week. As you go to reset your energy system, as you go to align and find that balance for you. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale away. And then just coming right here right here at the solar plexus. This is our deep work. And just take a moment and just offer, I can let it go. I can let at least one thing go. I can put an end to the story. You may have a little struggle with yourself. No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Yes, I can. And that's okay. As we tap right here, this is what helps to free up your energy system. Let it go. And when you find yourself spinning that same story, Tell yourself, I am done. I've already been through this. I can let this go. As you continue to tap, the energy of your system starts to move forward in a progressive way, in a unified way. 
so that we can free that up, so that you can open up. So as you're tapping here, just open up to that ability. Let the limits and beliefs go that you can't do it. Let the limits and beliefs go that you've got to keep the stories running. Find that place of peace for you. I can let this go. I choose to look at this in a different manner. I choose to release the energy that isn't working out of my system and let it go. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Just release the hands. Just notice how you're feeling. If we were to do a regular tapping, we'd move through all the points, but even tapping right here helps to activate that energy system for you. Helps you to let go of those beliefs, those limits and beliefs that get in your way. The fear, the stress, the struggles, the stories. The stories are our drama. Who needs the drama? So feel your feet planted on the earth. Feel that alignment, that vertical column of light opening up as we open up to this new season. Last few days of summer. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Bring the awareness back, opening the eyes, coming back. Noticing how you feel. Maybe a nice little light buzz going on. Give me a thumbs up if you felt that. Let me know. How do you like the tapping? A shortened version for sure. All right, so as we go to pick the cards, I love the shaman cards, especially being out in the medicine wheel today. I really love, all right, good. I got a little thumbs up. I love being, I love working with the energy of the shaman cards. Drew these when I was out there, really pretty. All right, so the first card that we're all gonna look at as our energy focus for this week is the luminous warrior. That is really coming into that very center and balancing. Balancing that light. This is about going deeper within the light of yourself. Going deeper into the truth of who you are. And that's what the harvest season is about. Harvesting your work, blessings, gratitude for what it is inside of yourself. Really important that you open up. Know your work. Know your light. Shine it even stronger. Luminous. Luminous, luminous, luminous. Luminous warrior. Right? beautiful card. So this is that power within you. So this is the energy we're going to align to as we move through this week. All right. When you find that balance, you can find that luminous light. When you use that luminous light, you can find the balance. They really do intersect each other. All right. Now, if you chose one, two, or three, we're going to look through those cards. And this is what's going to help to really magnify that luminous warrior energy out. All right. So the first card that we have is the gatherer. How perfect for this card for the fall. The gatherer. This is that energy of finding the abundance in your life. So if this is the first card you drew. Remind yourself as you work through this week, let me find the abundance of my life. Let me help that bring it back into balance so that I do know. Many times we get ourselves caught up in what we don't have. All right. So this is the card to remind you of what you do have. Peaceful morning, beautiful sunrise, birds singing. We have our needs met, right? This is to remind you that you have that. You know, if you're in your own business, clients, work, whatever it is for you, know that this is what you do have. And this is going to help you to empower that light within you. This is a really important card for the season ahead and also, too, to help you find that balance, to be that luminous warrior, to come into balance as we move into the new season. Come in with a full energy, all right? Not a lot of old baggage. So if you drew card number two, all right, I got some hearts and thumbs up from there. If you drew card, if you pick number two, this is about contemplation. I mean, this is about completion. Sorry. Look how pretty that card is. But this is really right in alignment. This is reminding us that we don't carry everything through every single season. All right. So if you pick number two, just ask yourself the questions we've been talking about. What can I let go of? What can I bring to completion that really isn't serving me as I move forward? Now, that doesn't mean like we have to let go of everything and start over. No, it just means like what didn't work? Again, we, were, we look to the earth, like those weeds that we pull up, the things that are overgrowing, the things that aren't helping our gardens, the things that aren't helping our lives. That's what we want to pick up. So the medicine here, because it was reversed, is literally noticing where you can let something go and return to that tapping. I can let this go. When you find yourself repeating that story, or repeating that conversation, or repeating that energy. I can let this go. I can let this go. I can let this go. And that's how we do it. We get out of that energy. We let it go. Now, if you chose card number three, this is about the sacrifice. 
This is about sacrificing something up very sacred to you coming from your heart is really how I like to look at the essence from this. Where can you offer that service of your purpose of your life right now up to spirit so that you can widen the scope of your work? Offer that service now. Let it be from the heart energy. All right. So if we look at the cards starting off for all of us this week is the luminous warrior. Shine your light. Know your truth. The truth is who you are, and that's going to help you be that luminous warrior to move forward into that new season as you find that balance. The first card is the gatherer. Remember to really count your blessings. Gather it all up. Bring it all in. I love this card. Look at all that she has on her head. I love it. It's really fun. Be grateful for all the many blessings. That's what we're in, the harvest season. Completion. The medicine is to complete something. Complete it, let it go. Maybe you've already done it and just look again and ask yourself. Look at the directions. I love it. It's almost like the medicine wheel, right? All right, and we're going to start, all right? We're in the south. Now we're moving over into the west. What can you let go? All right, don't forget. Very important. And then the sacrifice. Be willing to open your heart to give something up special to sacrifice that which is sacred for service, for your work, for the why of what you do. All right, beautiful cards for this week. Definitely beautiful cards to work through. All right, I'm going to check and see. I've had a few people ask for cards. Yes, letting go of fear will be helpful. Just get these things done. Absolutely. Let go of the doubt. Fear, false evidence appearing real. We don't have to hold on to that stuff. Just really go into that new energy. Let the rest be the story that you write the end, close the book, put it away. All right, really important. All right. Edith07, get a card for your birthday today. Happy birthday. I love it. All right. And I see a few other people asking for cards as well. All right. First one is over here on Instagram. Follow me. Like me. Hit that like button. Is the child. All right. I love this card. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. How funny. The child. Like your birthday. Your solar return. Where can you find that innocence of who you are? Look at all those mini moons that you've come through. Beautiful card. Return to that innocence of who you are. Return to the ability to start fresh. All right, the solar return comes around. We start again and return to the innocence of that child energy. Look at what a beautiful warrior she is. Where can you do that, Edith? Happy birthday. Where can you take this energy of the child and remember that this is what life is about? Come back to that innocence, right? Start again. Don't let yourself have all the weight and baggage that we tend to want to carry around we don't need to carry it around no emotion is ever final we don't have to carry our story around we can be free to step into that new energy all right let me know if that resonates with you all right all right let's see here i have another card here we're going to do one more over here light love this is the earth keeper all right now it was reversed so this is just reminding you to really be really in touch with the earth be a steward to the earth. Be responsible. Check in with yourself. All right. When we can tune in, this is one of the things I notice. When I can tune into the earth, we can really know where we are. We really can. We can know where we are. We can know what the conditions are. We can know how we can move forward in our life. So if you're in doubt, all right, a light love, if you're in doubt, get outside, especially this last week, and really put your feet in the earth. You know, pick up a few pieces of trash, something like that, that really can help you understand the importance of loving Mother Earth right now. Really important. Hope that was helpful to you. All right, let me come back over here. Let's see where you're anticipating. Hello. Hello, Jackie. Hello, A. A, you wanted a card for you and, okay, and Leanne too. All right. A, this is for you and then for Phil. All right, love this blade. Love this. This is about being on track, right? Like being really sharp, cutting away energy that no longer serves. All right, I think that's how I like to look at it. The blade is that cut. Let go. Again, here you go. Double message. Let go of something that's been troubling your mind. All right, I know you've had a lot of new things coming up. Let go of the stress. Open up to that new energy. Now, one for Phil, the beloved. All right, Phil. Open up to your heart, all right? You've been working a lot. I know things are changing and shifting, but just really coming into the energy to love yourself, which is going to translate out to your son and to your wife and all those around you. Be in that beloved energy a little bit more if you can, all right? I know we all get stressed and have so much to do, but don't forget that. Right, A? Hey, I know you'll like that, definitely. All right, let's see where I am over here. Leanne, I think you were next. Leanne, the tree of life. 
I love the tree of life. The tree of life really reminds us to connect to our roots and connect to the higher dimensions as well. Look how it intertwines with all. Look at that as well. So where can you really put those roots down and open up to the wisdom, right? You ever talk to the trees? That is what this tree of life is all about. This is how we grow, roots and wings, right? This is kind of what it reminds us of. I know we can get a little mystical too with the tree of life and the Kabbalah. So where is that mystical energy for you that's going to help you with the roots and the wings of your own life right now? We have to ground to expand. And that's kind of like that Uranus Mars energy a little bit. Grounding in the fire, but the expansion and thinking outside the box. All right, trust it. Yes, Mother Earth is so healing. I see you. All right, let's see where I am. All right. All right, Thelma, I've been seeing the word courage several times a day as a week. So I don't know what it's about don't i can't see all your whole message don't know courage though it's like that message i got on that t-shirt today it's like courage is like that hold on to that just like one more step forward don't give up like have the courage to move forward have the courage to look deeper into your life some are required a lot of courage so as you open up to the courage of who you are where can you shift a little bit that's what it takes sometimes is having that courage to go forward all right, A, I got so right on for both of us. All right, Patrick, how about you? How about a card for you? Let's see what we have. The corn. Have you drawn this? Have I drawn this before for you? I think I have. That is so funny. So corn is about growth and about light. It's about fertility as well. It's about knowing that place on earth that we can open up to the growth of who we are. I do find it to be about that ability to be abundant, all right? That's about it for that card for you. I know we have had this. And actually, I feel like I do want to look up a little bit more because I think, give me a thumbs up, Patrick. I think we've drawn this card for you as well. But let's look at it. It's come up before. So the corn represents the mother of sustenance and the tangible abundance. Yep, that's what we said. This symbol represents material prosperity in the world of form that provides stability and sustenance to many. There's more than enough. All right, so there's more than enough. You've planted a beautiful field of dreams and worked hard. Even in the moments when you're losing forth, you continued. Now the spirit of the corn comes to honor this and show you our bountiful harvest. This is a time to reap the rewards of hard work and trust, whether those rewards are financial or the kind of prosperity measured in quality rather than quantity. You are blessed. All right, I know we've drawn that before. You are blessed, blessed, blessed beyond means. So just own that energy as well. I love it. I know we've drawn that for you for as well. All right, you've had some new people come in. Charlene, hello. Kendall, hello. How are you? Charlene would like a card. Let's draw one for you. The energy of the jaguar. I don't think I've drawn this card before. I'm still learning this deck. It's funny how some cards only show up at certain times. So I'm going to actually look to the book as well. Colette always says, when you don't know the cards, when you're learning, go to the books. All right, so the number is 28. We're going to look at the jaguar energy, and this is for you, Charlene. Jaguar has some of that sleekness, right? It's hovering over the moon. Look at that. Over that globe of energy. And it's looking around the corner. Jaguars are fast and quick. Let's see what the cards say for this. What the book says. It's the protector of all life in the Amazon. And in times of fear, she brings courage. There's that word again. Thelma, courage and certainty. Jaguar is the top of the food chain and never becomes prey. With great stealth, she can track her mark from a distance and not be seen or heard. She moves gracefully through the jungle, relishing the abundance of the rainforest, fearless and at ease. So this is the invitation that calls you to explore beyond the walls that can find you. How does that resonate for you? Beyond the walls, push your limits and boundaries. That's Uranus energy as well. Perfect. Delivering an invitation for your own future to investigate the unknown. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so that jaguar is stretch those boundaries. Be in alignment with the planets, the cosmos, and as you open up, push that Mars energy, push that Uranus energy forward for you. Hey, Kendall, how are you? Here's a card for you. This is about the spiral of life. Look at this. This is about the spiral. Spirals can also be very abundant. We learned this in Reiki as well. That spiral, that shoku ray energy. So powerfully, it, it really, really be powerful in your energy. Really let that spiral really open up. I'm missing the word that I'm looking for, but really open up to that, that, that powerful energy that is around you. Let it magnify. That's the word I'm looking for, how spirals do, right? They circulate and magnify that energy. Everything is circular. Nothing stays the same. We all know this. I know we resist it. 
But as we move through the transitions of this season right now, know that you can be magnified in your energy and spiral forward. All right. I got a wow. Thank you. Hope that's helpful for you, Kendall, as well. Where can you magnify that energy for you? Yes, Patrick says he's claiming abundance. All right, we've got some thank yous. Some mother is abundance. Mother Earth is abundance. If I missed you, post again. I, I can't quite see when all these things keep running, but I do appreciate all the comments. We have some powerful energy coming in. We've had a we've had a tough summer. All right, I know I have. I admit I have, but there's so many lessons to learn from. All right, really, so many lessons. Good. We got a wow. Love that. All right, so again, as we move through this energy, all right, Thelma, we got a card for you, and we'll talk about the energy for this week. I think your message is courage no matter what, Thelma. We got flow, but we got it upside down. We got it in the reverse position. You see this? But it was upside down. So, Thelma, I'm going to ask you, where are you blocking your own energy? All right, especially as we move into the season right now, as we move into the new season, where can you let this go? Like, open up and flow. It looks like he's throwing water. Look at that. Throw some water up. Remove the emotion. So there's got to be something in there in the emotional body that is blocking you a little bit. So the medicine, as we say when we have the reverse cards, is release some of that emotional energy out. All right. What can you do to cleanse out some of that energy for you? And excuse me, maybe that's where maybe that's where the courage comes in for you is having the courage to look at what those emotions are. No emotion is ever final. Don't block that flow of energy. All right. Really important as you go through this transition of seasons. All right. So again, just to reiterate here, as we go through the beginning of the week, all the way towards really the whole week, a lot of motivation, a lot of energy coming in. We've got that Uranus Mars influence coming in. That's going to expand the energy. Open up, think beyond. All right. Open up to that energy for you as well. I've got a new podcast dropping. Yay. Starting my new season. One of the things I'm going to be talking about is spiritual literacy. Have you heard of that? What does that mean for you? All right. I look at it as reading the signs of our lives, right? Reading those signs, being aware. I'm going to be talking about that and how we can open up to being more literate with what spirituality is. All right. So check out the podcast. I'm actually offering a meditation this week right in alignment with this to help us release out this old energy. All right. Wednesday, if you're in the local area, Birmingham Yoga, I will be offering a Reiki and Crystal session. 5.30, come in. We're going to be using the Crystal Light Labyrinth and working with Reiki and Crystals. Also, at 6.30, we're having a restorative series, restorative yoga series going on, but I'm going to be doing a fall equinox celebration with the light labyrinth as well so come at 5 30 or 6 30 either way i've got a yummy des dessert for us all planned we've been having lots of fun in the restorative class sound bowls meditation feed up the wall the whole bit all right yes i can't wait to drop that new episode as well spiritual literacy something i am going to be talking about all right. Also, be on the lookout. I've got some summer packages coming up full of self-care and energy sessions. Come renew your energy. I'll be posting those. And I'm also going to have a new guide out, how to create a sacred space. I've had people text me about that. My guide right now is about building a spiritual practice, which falls into the idea of spiritual literacy. But people are asking, well, I'm not quite sure what you mean about a sacred space. So if you'd like to know more, post sacred space below and be on the lookout for that new guide that is coming up. All right. So that's what's happening with me. I did have a couple of people come in. Let's see. Cindy wanted a card, and then we'll close out. Luminous Warrior for everybody. All right, the Holy Mountain. Wow, another new card I haven't seen. So this one is for you, magnifying the energy. Thank you so much, Kendall says. All right, so this card, the Holy Mountain. I love that so many new cards are coming forward. That means the energy is shifting. All right, I've been using this deck now since, wow, since spring. I love it. I love that new energy is coming forward. And we draw the same cards. Isn't that funny? All right, so the Holy Mountain is about places of great power. All right, so the mountain, the invitation here invites you to go on a sacred pilgrimage to, pilgrimage to acquire vision and perspective. First, you must accept the present situation as an opportunity to discover higher understanding. Find a sacred altar, build your spiritual practice, build that sacred space for you. Find that vortex of energy. I say get outside. Find that, have you ever done that? Find that sacred space. Go outside and find the way in which you can 
align with the energy of Mother Earth. I talk about this on my yikes that I do on Instagram. So like me on Instagram. I find that I found that holy space outside. All right. It feels like a mountain. I talk to the trees. I go there and I resonate with the earth when I'm out there. So find that space for you. All right, Mary, I missed you. I am so sorry. I'm going to draw one more card for you. I didn't mean to. Here we go. We got the ghost dance. I love this card. I did it. I did a whole research on the ghost dance when I was in college. The ghost dance was was about that perseverance in life for the Native Americans. It was about dancing until that energy came back. They didn't want to give up. They wanted to keep their traditions going. So where can you find the endurance in your own life? Where can you continue? All right, persevere. Now, I know I've been talking about like letting go, letting go, but there are things in our lives that we do have to persevere with, all right, or persevere through. I'm actually wearing kyanite. Get you some kyanite. That will help you persevere, stick to it. So there are things in our lives, right, sometimes that we have to keep working with, and there are things that we can say, end of story. So what is it for you? Which one is the end of story, and where can you persevere and bring that spiritual nature back into who you are? All right, that's what that message is for you. All right, so let's just take a deep inhale. And just exhale out. Feel yourself coming back into balance. Bring in the spiritual body, aligning right in alignment. Feel yourself grounding with the earth. I love all the new cards that came forward. That is just such a great sign that we're moving into new energy. Opening the heart to our spiritual practice, to the spiritual literacy of our own work right now. Taking another deep inhale. And exhale. So enjoy this last week of summer. Get outside if you can. But we're starting to pull the energy in. Where can you do that for yourself? And where can you balance to be in alignment with this new season coming up? I get excited for that change of seasons. It makes it easier when we can find that path to really align our energy and become more balanced in who we are. Let me know how you're doing. I'll see you on Instagram, hit the like button on Facebook as well. Look for that new podcast dropping. And those in the local area, come join me. All right, to your spirit. Have a great week. Looking forward to the fall and sharing more messages with each of you. Thanks again so much for joining me. I so appreciate it. From my heart to yours. Namaste.